In this video, we'll write the Lewis structure for BrO2 minus, the bromite ion. Let's count the valence electrons up. For bromine, that's in group 17, so we have 7. Oxygen, 16, so we have 6 times the 2 oxygens. And then the negative sign, we have to add an additional valence electron there. And that gives us 20 total valence electrons for the BrO2 minus Lewis structure. We'll put bromine in the center, that's the least electronegative, and then oxygens on each side. We'll put electrons between atoms to form the chemical bonds, and then we'll go around and complete the octets on the oxygen atoms. At this point, we've used 16 valence electrons. Let's complete the octet on the bromine in 16, 18, and 20. So we've used all 20 valence electrons. It looks like a pretty good Lewis structure. The problem is, if we look at the formal charges, each oxygen will have a formal charge of minus 1. The bromine in the center will be plus 1. What we'd like is to have these numbers all add up to this 1 minus here. And we can do that by just moving these electrons here between atoms to form a double bond. When we do that, we have formal charges of 0 and 0 on the oxygen and the bromine here. This oxygen is negative 1, but that's okay. We have a negative up here for the whole BrO2 ion. So because this is an ion, we should put brackets around it and then a negative sign. So this is the Lewis structure for BrO2 minus. This is the most favorable or likely Lewis structure. Let's talk about resonance for just one second, though. We could draw an equally valid Lewis structure where the double bond is over here. So that would give us something that looked like this. So this is the same thing. It's just instead of having the double bond here, we have the double bond on this oxygen. These are called resonance structures. In reality, it's kind of an average of these two structures here, kind of a 1.5 bond between the oxygens. But those are two ways we could draw this. These are the resonance structures for BrO2 minus. This is Dr. B, and thanks for watching.